Hello, it's Captain Will on the flagship of the Boston Whaler Line, the 420 Outrage. I'd like to take a few minutes to walk you through this boat. First, I'd like to go up to the anchor locker where we have a through-haul anchoring system with windlass, remote control, freshwater wash down with hose, and tool storage. And here we can find that the, uh, we have 300 feet of road with 25 feet of chain. Now, in the bow of the boat, you can also see uh, the beautiful uh, wooden table, which will articulate up and down electrically. Um, we also have, as you can see for the very first time, our optional storm upholstery throughout the boat. Now, speaking of the upholstery, in this area here, we have a seat that flips up. Now, when that seat flips up and you're sitting here, your hands naturally go to this railing. Uh, for safety and security, which is a really nice feature. Underneath all of this seating is storage, and of course we have storage in the deck also. Forward here we do have a cooler, an optional uh, cooler that can uh, be filled with ice, and of course right behind it we have our fender storage, or you can get the optional scuba tank storage for this area. Now, this storage unit also converts into a forward-facing backrest for the stable area to make a beautiful dining area forward of the boat. As we put that down and we look at the backrest on the sun pad, we can see that the, sun, the backrests uh, have uh, cup holders throughout the uh, armrests throughout the boat. The very, very, very nice feature. And then, of course, I would be remiss if I didn't mention the shade system we have forward here, which gives the entire forward bow area a wonderful shade uh, throughout the day, which is phenomenal here in Florida. As I make my way to the back of the boat to the cockpit, uh, you can see here that we have storage in the gunnels. Great place to put uh, sun lotion and dock lines and other things that you don't want blowing around. As I make my way here to the helm deck, you can see that we have three 16-inch Raymarine Axiom screens. Now, they are complemented right at recess, right into this nice black acrylic. And one of the things that I really like about this is that not only do you have full command and control of the boat, you got your stainless steel tilt wheel here, your binnacle controls, uh, right here at hand and of course your joystick piloting but you also have a seven inch vessel view here for your engine telemetry one of the other key features of this boat is all the digital switching not only can you control all of the lights and features from the monitors but we also have some fingertip switches for some of the key areas such as the horn and lights and shades and so forth right at your fingertips you don't have to overreach or reach through things and new for uh, Fort Lauderdale on the 420 is going to be our visor storage in this visor storage, you can also have USB ports and a 12 volt receptacle to charge anything you may need. As I look up at the uh, top, hard top here, you can see the Seakeeper 6 control, Raymarine uh, VHF radio, and of course a uh, glove box here for storage of all the covers and other things that you may have on the boat. Following that, we also have storage for the full enclosure for the helm deck area. So if you get into any inclement weather, it's right here at your fingertips. Now, this boat does have three seats uh, across. Uh, all three have bolsters that articulate up and down. All three uh, do come forward and aft. The center seat uh, does articulate electrically, which is quite nice. And then of course, one of the key features of this boat is that the center seat or the outside seats do rotate uh, allowing you to have an aft facing very comfortable seat uh, whether you're fishing or out with the family having a good time at the sandbar okay so let me bring that back around um, and then of course one of my favorite things is the visibility step uh, for those who are vertically challenged and of course this visibility step does have a little orthopedic material which makes it quite comfortable to stand on now I would re be remiss if I didn't point out one of the key features of the boat. Not only do we have our leaning posts here in our second station, but we also have air conditioning, 18,000 BTUs of air conditioning coming up and hitting you, which is quite nice, particularly on these hot summer days. But this area here will convert into a seating arrangement. Now, this is a very heavy fiberglass part. You can see that I'm moving it very easily, but if I let go of it, it doesn't just fall out of the way. The hydraulics keep it quite manageable. 
And then as I flip that up, you can see that we have a full seat all the way across. I'm able to get up there. I have the air conditioning spilling on me, and it's a very, very comfortable area. One of the key features of this area also is that you're at the same visual level as the captain. So you're seeing what's coming in front of you. You're not down in a hole looking at the back of seats, which is quite nice. So as I move along here, um, I'll go ahead and close this option or this uh, standard seating up and we'll put this back around like that and we'll come back here and look at the prep station uh, on this particular boat uh, the customer has chosen a refrigerator freezer and an ice maker behind uh, all this covers though are some of our traditional features such as the uh, live bait jacuzzi uh, we also have our nice freshwater sink here with uh, paper napkin towel holders uh, leader material holders, tool holders, and of course my favorite, which is the grill. Uh, moving back into the cockpit, we can also see some of the features that we find in other outrages, which is the dive ladder incorporated right into the seat. The dive ladder is going to go right in the receptacle here at the dive door. And then of course we have a handle that can come around to help you get out of the water um, in those cases. We also have cannonball holders for downriggers and a small uh, live wall here in the stern quarter. Now, let's articulate the seat out so you can see how that works. So we're going to put the seat cover up and pull on this handle here and you can see how that nice bench just reveals itself throughout the transom of the boat. The boat also incorporates two large fish boxes port and starboard and uh, they can be refrigerated and in this particular boat we can see that uh, we have the uh, optional cockpit tables and uh, we're going to look at where those are stored here in just one minute. All right. In the mechanical area, you can see that we have storage for those helm deck tables. Um, also, you can see there are, all of the systems are easily accessible, whether they are the bronze through hull systems, the fuel filters for the uh, Barados, the fire suppression system, batteries, water heater, uh, the Seakeeper Gyro 6, uh, all of the pumps and so forth are all very easily accessible. All right, and as I close down that hatch, one of the key things on this particular boat that I'd like to point out is that it is outfitted with four 450R Mercury racing engines, which will propel this boat in excess of 60 miles an hour. All right, so enough of the cockpit. Let's go down in the cabin and have a look at the class leading cabin for 42 foot center consoles. As I come down here, you can see that we have the optional teak interior, which is a very traditional warm uh, teak base. Nice light upholstery throughout. Uh, this table here articulates down, and of course that fills in to make a nice V berth for forward for sleeping. We do have a dedicated head and uh, right now what I like to do is just kind of point out that we do have a push button vacuum flush system, a nice uh, sink, and of course a rain shower up above. All right, beautifully uh, orchestrated there. We have our television here, another prep sink here, our nice microwave, um, some storage where a curry could be put, of course our TV for entertaining, um, and uh, you can see here that it articulates away from the wall quite nicely. And of course, a refrigerator down here in this particular area with trash receptacle and other amenities for the small galley. Controls on the 420 Outrage are quite simple and we like to keep it that way. We have an ignition panel there, generator controls, our stereo units, cabin air conditioning, cockpit air conditioning, um, everything very clearly marked and uh, quite, quite uh, easily accessible. So guys, um, that's about it for the 420 Outrage. It's Captain Will Rogers from Boston Whaler and I'll see you soon.